how to pay your bills on time because I experienced a delay recently and um, sometimes you just keep forgetting. You, you keep saying, okay, I'll pay for tomorrow. But I think what people should do, especially if it's your first time, is make a chart and put down what you have to pay for monthly. So your phone bill, your landline, your internet, cable, water, electricity, monthly dues. So it's all there and then you put how many months and then you just check it so you know what you've paid for and you can write in the due date once you get the bill so that you're constantly reminded and put it somewhere where you always see it. So that's one thing I'm hoping to be able to like get a mini whiteboard and write it there so it's a constant reminder because it's such a hassle if you pay late you know you get the late fees and then it's just building up and then you get a bad rep also with whoever's giving you the bill. Kung masipag ka naman sa bahay mo with your family or sanay ka naman na you look after yourself uh, with your family, like you don't rely on your mom or you don't rely on your kasambahay, it's easier to really move in, I mean move out and be by yourself in your condo. Kasi for me, I was lucky that when I was in Australia, my mom didn't do everything for me. You know, she would help me with a lot of things, but at the same time, of course, she would be out and, and she would be at work or my brother would be at school and I had a day off, so I would have to look after myself. I'd have to find something to eat and wash the dishes and clean my room and stuff like that because we don't have a kasambahe there also, so I was able to build that independence on my own and, I mean, yeah, I was able to do that on my own and not have my mom telling me, oh, okay, kailangan, ikaw mag-uusap nga, and ikaw mag pagkain mo. So, I think people should really have to um, do that by themselves. Like, don't wait for your parents to tell you na, oh, mag-move out ka, kailangan mo, ano ka You know, and you get pressured and surprised and overwhelmed when you're on your own. And then, wala rin, babalik ka rin sa parents mo kasi hindi mo naman kinaya. And also, have work before you move out, so you know you can pay for it. Not unless your parents are willing to pay for your bills, diba? Kasi that's a whole different topic na. Edi, you're not being independent also, so what's the point?